If you wish to make an apple pie from scratch, you must first invent the universe. Suppose I cut a piece out of this apple pie. Crumbly, but good. And now suppose we cut this piece in half, or more or less, and then cut this piece in half. And keep going. How many cuts before we get down to an individual item? Of course, this knife isn't sharp enough, the pie is too crumbly, and an atom is too small to see in any case. But there is a way to do it. It was here at Cambridge University in England that the nature of the atom was first understood, in part by uh, shooting pieces of atoms at atoms and seeing how they bounce off. Crumbly, but good. A typical atom is surrounded by a kind of cloud of electrons. The electrons are electrically charged, as the name suggests. Thank you very much. Deep inside the atom, hidden far beneath the outer electron cloud, is the nucleus, composed chiefly of protons and neutrons. Atoms are very small. A hundred million of them, end to end, would be about so big. And the nucleus is a hundred thousand times smaller still. Nevertheless, most of the mass in an atom is in the nucleus. The electrons are just bits of moving fluff. Atoms are mainly empty space. Matter is composed chiefly of nothing. 